To make this sweet petal pin cushion, you will need a piece of fabric big enough to cut two circles out at the size you want it to be, one a large button that has two holes in it, DMC cotton pearl thread in a colour of your choice and a number one straws needle, a lead pencil, thread snips as well as fabric scissors and pinking shears, a handful of polyester stuffing, a few fabric pins, a chopstick and an object circular in shape to trace around. For example, I'm using the lid from my tin of pins. To begin, trace two circles onto the wrong side of fabric using the lead pencil. With fabric scissors, carefully cut out each circle along the pencil line. Flip one circle on top of another, right sides facing, and pin them together. At the sewing machine, start your sewing with a back stitch and proceed to sew a scant quarter inch seam around the whole edge. Then make another back stitch about an inch away from where you first started sewing and remove it from the machine. Trim off the excess threads from your sewing. Then with the pinking shears, carefully trim down the seam allowance, except for around the opening and without snipping the threads in the sewn seam. Doing this will help the edges of the circle sit flatter once turned out the right way. Next, patiently turn the pin cushion right side out through the one inch opening. Use the chopstick to help push out the edges. After that, take small amounts of the polyester stuffing and fill the pin cushion until it's lovely and plump. Use the chopstick to poke and position the stuffing evenly throughout the pin cushion. Once it's full, take a normal needle and thread and carefully and slowly slip stitch the gap closed. To finish this stitch, make a loop and pull the needle and thread through it to create a knot. Then plunge the needle into the pincushion, bringing it out away from the stitching. Snip the thread off as close to the surface of the pincushion as possible without cutting into it. Next, take the DMC cotton pearl thread and unwind and cut a piece that measures about 80 inches long. Thread it onto the straws needle and then tie a knot at the end. Roughly find the center point of the pin cushion and plunge the needle and thread all the way through and out the other side. Wrap the thread around the side, taking the needle back through the center and out the other side. Pull the thread tight and then repeat the same step again, creating even petal-like sections. After pulling tight the last petal, thread through the button, bringing the needle and thread through to the back of the pincushion. Center the button and pull the thread tightly so that it doesn't move. Then on the back of the pincushion, secure the stitching by making a small tack close to the center. Make a small loop, take the needle through it and create a knot. Plunge the needle into the pincushion next to the knot and bring it out away from the stitching. Cut the thread off as close as possible to the surface, just like last time. And that is your petal pincushion finished and ready to use. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this block. It is called the Open Window Block. So this version of the Open Window Block that I'm going to show you how to make is a little bit different to a true sort of version of an Open Window Block. There are many different ways you can make this block. 